Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hi everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet a favorite stitch of mine, which is called the waffle stitch. The waffle stitch is a fairly popular stitch to use in uh, blankets and blankets of all sizes and one of the wonderful things about this stitch is that it is reversible so the stitch looks the same on the front as it does the back so you can see why uh, it would be popular to use in blankets. I will caution you though uh, because it is used with uh, double crochet stitches and they're worked around the posts so the stitches underneath of them it can be a little bit of a yarn eater so uh, if you're looking at crocheting a blanket using the waffle stitch you're going to want a little bit extra yarn to have on hand. So once again, thank you so much for joining me. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel where I like to update it weekly with free stitch tutorials such as this one and free crochet patterns. So if you're crocheting along with me today, what you will need is a little bit of yarn of your choice. Today I'm going to be working with a bulky weight yarn. Uh, so I will be pairing it with a six millimeter crochet hook. You're going to want to choose the hook size um, that best fits the yarn that you're working with. And if you're not quite sure where to start, you can take a look at the yarn label and there you will see a little crochet hook symbol and below it, it will tell you the um, crochet hook that they recommend to use with the yarn. So I'm working with a bulky weight yarn and a six millimeter crochet hook. What we are going to do is we are going to begin by making our slip knot. Now to work the waffle stitch pattern, you will need a multiple of chains that is any even number. So you are going to need an even number of chain stitches. For our purposes today, I'm going to begin by chaining 20. There's 10. Once you have to have your desired length of chain using an even number of chain stitches, you are going to begin the pattern by working a double crochet in the fourth chain from hook and then in each chain all the way across. So to work your double crochet, you're going to yarn over, you're going to find that fourth chain. So there's one, two, three, four and you're going to work your double crochet, first double crochet stitch in that fourth chain. The chain three at the beginning will count as a stitch. Now you will work one double crochet stitch in each stitch all the way across. Once you have worked one double crochet stitch in each chain all the way across, you're going to chain three and you're going to turn your work. So you will now be working back along your row of double crochet stitches. Remember that your double uh, chain three will count as a stitch. Now the first thing you're going to do is uh, in this second row is we're going to start uh, making some of that beautiful texture that you see in the waffle stitch. So our next stitch is going to be a front post double crochet stitch. To work your front post double crochet stitch you're going to start by yarning over and you're going to insert your hook around from right back behind through to the left of the post of the next stitch. So normally when you work a crochet stitch you work in the top. That's right here. Normally you'd work it in that stitch right there. But for the front post you're moving down and you're going to work around the post 
of the next stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook around the post from right. You're going to move back behind that post and come out through the left of that stitch. You're going to yarn over. You're going to pull that yarn through back around behind that post. And then you're going to complete your double crochet. You'll yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops again. That is your front post double crochet stitch. Next, you will double crochet in the next stitch. So you're going to skip the top of the stitch you just worked on, and in the next stitch, in the top of it, work a double crochet stitch. You are then going to repeat that all the way across. Front post double crochet stitch, so around the post of the next stitch from right to left, yarn over, pull through, complete your stitch, and then double crochet in the top of the next stitch. And again, repeat. You're going to repeat that all the way across until you come to your final chain three. Once you come to the end of that row, you will see your chain three is still here. Remember that that does count as a stitch and you're going to work one final double crochet stitch just in the top of that chain three. So in that third chain, work your final double crochet stitch. So at the end, you will always have two double crochet stitches worked in the top of the last two. That's the end of row two. Now for row three, you're going to begin by chaining three and turning your work. And you are going to repeat exactly what you did for row two. So you will begin by working one front post double crochet stitch around the next stitch, yarn over, insert your hook around the post from right to left, yarn over, pull through and complete your double crochet and then double crochet in the top of the next stitch. Front post, double crochet around the next, and double crochet in the next, top of the next stitch. Front post, double crochet, and double crochet. Repeat that all the way across. I'm now coming up to the end of my row three, and remember that chain three there counts as a stitch, so you're going to double crochet in that third chain. Now on to row four. We'll work one more row just so that you can really see the texture coming out. You're going to start row four by chaining three and turn your work. And row four is a repetition of row two. So that's your front post double crochet. You'll always start each row with a front post double crochet. Front post double crochet in the next stitch and double crochet in the next. And continue that repetition all the way across. the end of your row four, remember, once again, work in the top of that beginning chain three with a double crochet stitch. That's the end of row four. Now you can really see that texture coming out. Now you, for the rest of this pattern, for the rest of this stitch, you are simply going to repeat that. Chain three and turn, front post double crochet, followed by double crochet stitch all the way across and that's going to give you this gorgeous texture. Once again this uh, is great for everything from blankets to dishcloths to um, various accessories and uh, articles of clothing. Uh, it also works well in a variety of uh, different yarn types and weights. So thank you so much for joining me on this quick tutorial on how to crochet the waffle stitch. Happy crocheting and please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you later. Bye.